Today I'm going to show you how to replace a fluorescent light ballast. If you have a fluorescent light fixture that doesn't seem to be working, even after you've replaced the bulbs, more than likely you have a bad ballast. Replacing one is extremely easy. I'll demonstrate how to do it, and I'll show you some of the mistakes I made that you can avoid. I have my fixture here. I've taken it down because I'm moving it, and also because it's much easier to demonstrate here, sitting here, than it is up on the ceiling. You probably won't need to take yours off of the ceiling unless for some reason you can't get to the ballast screws to get them off. The first thing you want to do is disconnect the electric power to that circuit. Do that at the breaker box so you know that you've completely shut off the electricity. The second thing you're going to want to do is take out the bulbs and take out the reflector. Reflectors are different from fixture to fixture. Uh, some of them might have some clips on the ends there might be a simple reflector between the two bulbs. I've got one between the two bulbs here. Just have to squeeze it to get it out. You'll see I've got my ballast here. This is the part that I need to replace. One of the things you need to look out for is the size of the ballast. If you have a two bulb, three bulb, four bulb fixture, you want to make sure that you buy a ballast that matches the number of bulbs for your fixture. I went out and I bought a two bulb ballast, but I didn't pay attention to the size of it. One thing you'll notice is that the replacement ballast I purchased is much larger than the existing one. That's a problem because it won't fit in the reflector that's supposed to cover it up. So you might want to pay attention to the size of the ballast or the area where it's installed to see if you need to focus on the dimensions of the ballast or not. The second thing that you're going to want to look out for is whether or not you have a series or a parallel wired ballast. The ballast that I purchased, the wrong size one, was a parallel and as it turns out, the one in here is series. How do you know which one you have? Uh, let me show you a diagram. So this here is a parallel ballast, and most fixtures will follow the same wiring color. Uh, so this should look similar to what you see in your fixture. The one here is a series ballast. Now if you're replacing a parallel with a parallel or a series with a series, it's very easy. You can just match up the wire colors and that's how you wire it. In my case, my replacement ballast, the real one, the one that actually fits, I stuck with a parallel ballast. And this is because I found that these are much easier to find. So, how do I replace a series ballast with a parallel ballast? Well, let me show you a wiring diagram that shows you how you can convert from the series to the parallel. If your fixture is installed when you go to replace the ballast, you should have three wires coming from your electric, electrical wiring in your home coming into the fixture connected by wire nuts. And that should be a white wire, a black wire, and a bare wire, the ground. So you'll want to disconnect the white and the black. You don't need to disconnect the ground. There is no ground wire on a ballast. It's grounded to the chassis of the fixture. So disconnect those. If this is the first time the ballast has been replaced, you'll need to cut the wires. If the ballast has already been replaced, you might see wire nuts like this connecting the wires from the ballast to the bulb connectors. So I'm going to cut these out. And I'm going to cut close to the ballast. Better to have too much wire than not enough. So with the wires cut, the next thing is to unscrew the mounting screws. I'm going to do it from underneath. It's a lot easier. The mounts on these ballasts have open ends, so you may only need to completely remove one of the mounting screws and just loosen the other. So here's my old ballast. Rather than throwing it in the trash, you might want to take it to a place like uh, one of the big box uh, home improvement store so they can dispose of it properly. All right, here's my replacement. I'm going to go ahead and attach it 
with the mounting screws. Okay, as you'll see, I've got more than enough wire here to make all these connections. So I'm actually going to cut some of these short. But before I cut them short, I want to make sure I put them, route them where they're going to go so I don't cut them too short. So my red is my common. That's going to come back and tie up to these two yellow. And then each of these blue wires is going to go to a one of these pair, a blue pair and a red pair. And the next thing I need to do is strip these wires so they can accept wire nuts. You want to take off about three quarters of an inch. All right, those yellow wires were a pain. Let's start with those. So since we're converting from serial to parallel, the yellows are the common, and those are going back to red. You can use orange or blue wire nuts for this. Okay, so each of these pair goes to one blue. So I've got the red pair going to one of the blue wires on the ballast. And the blue pair going to the other blue wire coming out of the ballast. If you have two blues and a red, then something's wrong. You're going to want three blues or two reds and a blue connected. Okay, so this is all wired up. The other thing I'm going to want to do is since my reflector goes in over this, I want to kind of situate these wires so they stay out of the way when it comes time to reinstall that. Okay, it's wired, so now I'm going to reinstall the fixture. I'm going to wire it to the electric circuit. I'm going to put the reflector back on, the bulbs on, and it should work. So let's give it a try. Okay, I've got the light fixture reinstalled. So now I'm going to make my connections. Let's make this go faster. I'm going to make my connections black to black, white to white, and ground to ground. Then I'm going to reinstall the reflector and then I'm going to install the bulbs. Okay, now for the moment of truth. I'm going to flip the breaker on and then flip the switch on. There you have it. It's as easy as that. Thanks for watching.